talk about my first ever crush in motorsport, Dennis Hulger. Let's go! <laughs> You're watching Contentless Content, my name is Laila and I am not wearing Dennis Hauger merch because it doesn't ship outside of Norway. So I found the next best thing. So if someone didn't make the connection here, Dennis is Norwegian, he's not just fucking with his fans that you can only accept my merch in Norway. And the shirt, well, he's in the Red Bull Junior program, so pretty great, huh? So even if I couldn't, a lot of people showed up uh, wearing Dennis Hauger merch to the Hungarian Grand Prix, where I also went to. And why? Because that guy is a Norwegian Norwegian magnet. He is one of the few drivers who compete under the Norwegian flag in formulas, the others being Isla Adren, and that's it actually. So let's go Norway. For some reason, on every driver profile that I read about him, next to his name and his nationality, which I get since it's important for him too, there was his height. So, let's see. So, according to Wikipedia, he is this tall, 178. But, Formula 1 thought, let's make it even higher, 181. But Red Bull wins with the highest bid, which is 180 here. So what's the deal with this really? Clearly Formula 2 measured him in the morning, Red Bull is trying to make him good and Wikipedia is just telling straight up facts. This is the only reasonable explanation guys, just saying. So yeah, we went through fans, looks, nationality, what am I missing? Oh yeah, his racing career. Then he's got his love for racing from his dad, who he accompanied for rallies and hair climb races since the age of one. Later, after he finished potty training, he was looking for new challenges, so his parents got him a quad. At two. You know what I did at two years old? This. It's almost the same, I mean, but still. <laughs> also, he fell and he still had the scar. So from this point of view, he had his worst crash at the age of two, because ever since then he didn't get permanent injuries, except for his tattoos. He started his official karting career at five and he won his first race at the age of eight. From then on, there was no stopping him, Dennis won everything in Norway. Dennis won almost everything in Norway. And after realizing he is the king, he moved to international karting at the age of 11. He became the youngest ever DKM champion in 2016. I repeat, youngest ever champion. In 2018, he joined the British Formula 4 Championship, where he finished 10 out of 30 times on the podium, from which 4 were, were wins. He finished 4th overall and 2nd in the rookie standings. His season was really like this. <laughs> also, he kind of liked craft circuits. Then next year, in 2019, he joined the German and the Italian Formula 1 Championship and he managed to get second in the German and first in the Italian one. He also participated in two races of the Formula Regional European Championship where he finished sixth and fifth respectively. The next year, which was 2020, he was set to start his first ever Formula 3 season when... Can you guess it? Can you guess it? Yes, Covid struck and I completely forgot about it. Yes, I almost forgot about Covid, okay? So he sat around like everyone else uh, for two weeks waiting for the quarantine to end. Then it didn't. So anyway, when the season did start, he was with High Tech Grand Prix and he finished 17th in the standings. In 2021, he joined Prema and managed to win the championship with them. Prema? He continued with the team in 2022, graduating to Formula 2, but he didn't have that good of a campaign and he finished 10th overall. This year, in 2023, he will be joining MP Motorsport and hopefully he can manage to win the championship. And I'm looking forward to seeing him in Formula 1. And speaking of Formula 1, then he joined the Red Bull Junior team in 2018 after he impressed Helmut Marko with a simulator test when he was still in karting. 
From then on, his relationship got better with Red Bull, and they worked together, and they announced him as an official member in 2019, as I said before. I previously talked about the huge fan base Dennis has, but I haven't talked about sponsors, but he has a lot of them. He is, I think, one of the people with the most sponsors in Formula 2, and maybe I just don't speak Norwegian, but some of the things are pretty, pretty weird. Like, like Dennis's spicy nuggets. I mean, what? Also, this is something that doesn't come up with all of the racing drivers, but with Dennis, I noticed that he really likes his home country, I mean, obviously everyone likes his home country. And I think this is uh, because of the fact that Dennis is basically the only one who is bringing motorsport back to his country. I mean, not the only one, but the only one in formulas. Also, Dennis participated in the Porsche Carrera Cups, uh, the Scandinavian edition, obviously, uh, where he ended up with a few podiums, and he was there in 2021 and also 2022. So my own opinion about him is, obviously, I like him a lot. He is one of my favorite racing drivers, and it's a big heartbreak for me that he will be leaving Trevor and I won't be seeing him in any more videos. But, I mean, it's for the best, so I'm happy for him. I don't think people like him for nothing. He has the talent, the personality, he's funny, he has the looks. The best looking on the grid, Dennis Howard, in Norway. <laughs> I just noticed that I wrote this script before my first tattoo, so I wrote down that he's a tattooed person and I'm a piercing person, so now we're opposed to each other, like in the opposite gang, but now I have a tattoo too, so I can't really say that anymore. But it's fun, and you can't see it now, so... I better stop now. You can like and subscribe, obviously I won't force you to do, but just so you guys know, me and Dennis are in the same gang now, and he's pretty muscular. Okay, bye! Also, we won the Kiss My Ass Hamas back.